Jesus. Real profession around this motherfucker. <laughs> Take one. Like I mean, them fake DoorDash restaurants. Hey. Nigga just took it. I'll tell you how to order Captain D's three times. <laughs> God damn it. DoorDash is to piss me off. It's some fish place and it's, it sounds good as hell. <laughs> DoorDash come out here? Uncle, Uncle Mike's fish or something. Yeah. They got pictures and shit. Man, hey. man shit show up. That shit Captain, Captain D's. D's. Like, like motherfucker, is you what? Yeah. I just Jack, paid $27 for dogs. No, I'll mm. be ordering fish fillets and shit. Shit, catfish plate. Shit, yeah. all right. Yeah. Shit, you Get really you got filet. catfish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For real. <laughs> <laughs> shit, show up, Captain D's. And the Captain D's bad. They ain't yeah, behind yeah. this shit. Mm-mm. That's a real catfish. Shit, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be mad as fuck. I just paid $37 <laughs> for Captain D's, bitch. Boy. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll be woke. This yeah. some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. And then every yeah. time it get me, like, bitch, you knew that? I ain't think about it. I yeah, just I seen the catfish. Again. I just wanted like, yeah. that filet right there, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man. No, you had your mouth all fixed with that damn fish. Man. Man. I, bet back you, again. I bet you still ate that motherfucker. You got yeah, to. Yeah, you got, got to. Pay 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 $37 <laughs> for it. <laughs> it's all soggy and shit that, now. You got to enjoy the fuck out of this Captain D's. Ooh, shit, some I great cards. Yeah, shit, man. I ain't. I ain't never heard of that happen. Yeah, there's a few restaurants like that. Motherfucker, we doing you damn Burger King. You look for. Steak out. See, it's a few motherfuckers cook out their house on DoorDash, God damn Got a whole restaurant name. Like, yeah, I want to order Vicky's. Yeah, you put <laughs> right up in the neighborhood. Hey. A bitch come right outside with a bag. Here you go. Like, yeah, bitch, what is man, this? That's pretty slick, though. That's pretty slick. Hey, you got a restaurant you license. Away, you good. Yeah, that's, pretty slick. that's pretty slick. Motherfucker, pull up, God damn it. DoorDash the fuck out your apartment. You don't know where that fool, whose hands to touch that food either. Yeah, I don't it's want this shit. Yeah, I don't want this shit, God damn it. Let me find out Vicky's goddamn and you pee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, in the back. <laughs> man, what? Hey, some money, man. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, man. <coughs> man it's no cheap, bro. You, are, are you part? Is this going on there? I mean, about? it's in here, but it ain't. We ain't fishing to start. All right. We were bored. We probably gonna keep some of this shit, but we we gonna start mm-hmm. the show right now. Yeah, we start this. I'm gonna give y'all some. I'm gonna open up my chocolate. Open them up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of us. I lost it for a minute. I forgot what we was doing. Welcome to a special session, baby. Y'all know what a special session is? Bob going to tell you what a special session is. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. We're here now with another special session. A special session is a session where we the smokers. Smoke for me the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Hold your applause to the end. Thank you very much. We come across somebody. In our community or in surrounding communities, or somebody's maybe putting our eyesight and our view and vision, and we want to learn a little bit more about them, and we want you to learn a little bit more about them. It's so we bring them to too. you if they happen to come to us to let us do such a thing. And today we have none other than Mike Sales in this bitch, the baby, baby. baby. Yeah, what's up, what up, what you up? The king, Mike Sales. Say what's up to the yeah, people. What's happening? What's happening, Huntsville? Worldwide, what's happening? I'm here, Mike Sales, 10 stacks on all social media platforms. Uh, to my right, the Honorable Reverend Cato Jackson. I'll be here all night. I am Bob Jaquez. Hit him with them socials one more time, though, Mike. That was smooth. I am Mike Sales, aka or at 10 stacks, 10 S T A C K S S, right here on Instagram, Facebook. On all social media platforms. Watch out, bitch. Already. Watch out, bitch. You feel me? We're going to start this thing off a little different light. All right. feel like we're going to start this thing off a little different light. All right. Check this shit out right here, Mike. So, Bob has been blessed with a special power. We don't know where he got it from. He just woke up with it one day like, nigga, you could do what? Just happened. This motherfucker can make wishes come true. So, show sure enough. Show sure enough. So, sure enough. This is how this work, though. It's always a stipulation to some shit. It's always a catch. You know what, niggas, is always a catch. Yeah. So, anything you could desire, anything you could want, any, something tangible. Any, any. It's got to be something physical, something you could see. An actuality. You could point to. It can't be like somebody to fall in love or, or none of that type or of like shit. To be able to fly or be flash. You can't bring nobody back from the dead or none of that. But you get a wish, anything. But. In order for this to come fulfilled, in order for this to happen, somebody's gonna die. 
a random person, yep. somebody you've come across, somebody you've seen, somebody you met. We don't know who it's going to be. It ain't going to be nobody yeah. close to you, so don't worry about that. But a random, it could be a third grade teacher. You remember the last a, time you was in the store, you saw that little kid, and you was like, God, that motherfucker bad. It might be that. It might, it might be, be that little kid it that you saw that last him. time. Might not be. It, it might not. be an old ass lady that's finna die tomorrow yeah. anyway. Yeah. Could be a baby though. Could be somebody in hospice. But you got to make them. You you get something for this, whatever you could desire. And if you and if you decide I'm good, I'm too good of a person for this. I'm not making no motherfucking wish. This gonna kill somebody. In this scenario, everybody, everybody gonna die dies. except for you. Yeah, I wish for me. <laughs> okay, then to live at my highest. No, nope, see, can we? Do, we can't do that. It's got to be something like that? somebody can give thing. you something. It's got to be something tangible. Like yeah, I'm this, saying, if, if this somebody was giving me some, I'm gonna be real. If somebody was giving me some, and I live my life right now, I'm not afraid of death because death I honor it because it's part of the universe. It's but no, you're not gonna die. Listen to me. Listen to you're me. You're not gonna die in this oh, situation. I live. No, you yeah, gotta pick else something. Everybody gonna die. So you gonna I got to pick somebody to die. die. No, nope. you don't get to pick the person to die. Look, look, you look at it like this. Look at it like this. It's like if you had a wish from a genie. Except it's you can't. It's like a wish from a genie, kind of. You know, you got them rules. No, you can I, only, I have to. I have to. Put you just on somebody. No, no it's listen, somebody. That's random. all you do is pick what you want. It's somebody somebody random's random gonna though. die. Yeah. But it's, if you don't pick something, everybody dies. Except you. Okay, so you here by yourself. I gotta pick a random person. To you die? don't pick the no, person. Don't pick nobody. It, it could be the. It, oh, when no. you was at Walmart the other day, right? And, and the motherfucker behind you was like, "This motherfucker too close to me." It could be that motherfucker. It could be a third grade teacher. It could be. Oh, so what you saying? Pick situations. To, no, no. A person just, that calls a situation. You just pick whatever you want. This wish that you get. Yeah, I'm granting you the wish. To have. Tell them some examples. What are some examples? We had somebody that decided that they really wanted a field to frolic in. Uh, just some land. They wanted. We a had field somebody with some that wanted flowers. to uh, take over Equifax. They took um, over. They gave or TransUnion, one of those. It we was, had somebody that wanted a hospital. Somebody got a hospital. They had their own hospital. Um, so, so you have to pick something that you would have as your wish. Okay, so I have to pick something first. My wish would be, I see myself owning a a skyscraper. A skyscraper. Okay. What is you got? See, and then we yeah, we didn't stipulate. You, you want to be a little more specific because you like could a have a skyscraper, right? I like a skyscraper with office buildings at the bottom and at the top. I like. Uh, condos for sale. Where is okay, it? Then. It's in the middle of New York, man. Okay, Manhattan, okay, New York. Okay, yeah. then. Hey. Times Square. All right, then. Sales Square. Yeah. Sales, sales yeah. Towers. Sales, hey. uh, sales Towers. Hey. Sales hey. Towers. Hey, okay. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Right. Hey. Towers. Okay, then. Yeah. Yeah. This was who died? Somebody By Mike died. Sales. Okay, then. Presidential <laughs> Towers. Okay, then. So. I'm gonna talk about the weed. I'm gonna uh -oh. die. Yeah, you it got was to, you almost got to me. Join. I yeah. never <laughs> said. Hey, you ain't gonna see the tower. Damn, yeah, homie. Okay. Damn. okay. <laughs> but yeah, lady was behind you at Walmart yesterday, did and say her name. She gone. <coughs> I was gonna say K. Ivy, but. K. Ivy? Huh? What? Hey, look. So how do I? So how do this I? This is for entertainment purposes only. Um, The views and opinions <laughs> express. By Bob or the views and opinions expressed by Bob only and not of the smoking permitted podcast in any manner. You can't say that over here. What's 256 All right, don't give up. Call number right now. Hell yeah. Don't call us. Don't call us with that bullshit. Hey. Don't call us. So, what y'all telling me? How much time I got to figure out who I want to pick? But no, you don't pick. She already did. Yeah, you don't uh, get to pick. Yeah, she did. As soon as you decided what you wanted and they brought it she to dropped. you. She dropped. She out of there. So who was she? Some lady, Some lady behind you in Walmart. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So what I'm saying is, with that, I'm glad because the opportunity is at hand for everybody <laughs> to be successful. Because you know what? I'm giving an application to those who lower income houses. Okay, then. Right. Right. To okay, learn how then. to live correct. You understand what I'm saying? They're going to be peeing in the elevator. They're going to run your shit. tower to the ground. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's going down in the president's tower. It's going to be Mike. security guard. No, it's going to be presidential. You got to... You you gonna have to come up through there with some credentials. Bro. Okay, then. Wow. yeah, you gotta be signed off on it. Right. Right. Okay, yeah, ain't nobody you gonna, just coming you up. You gonna provide like them that. with their own suits and stuff. Yeah, they gotta have a, they gotta have opportunities to perform. They gotta be in school if they're young. They gotta have forward progress. Hey, right, nobody, you All gotta right. be doing so. Shit. Yeah, ain't no sitting in the presidential These towers out there. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. turn the we turn the lights <laughs> off in the presidential tower right. from Eight nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> LED lights on that day. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you need it work, you better be fucked over in the dog. Uh, lights out. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
It's a God bedtime damn, he, rap, yeah. Uh-huh. A nigga won't pay the flight bill. Had a whole towel out for about an hour. Man, <laughs> okay. Man, he ain't nah, lying. they finna come. They on the way now. They finna right, right. I don't, I'll send them the money. I don't know what they doing. God damn, they got me on hold, man. I'm trying to pay the bill <laughs> man, towel, man. <coughs> Motherfucker down there. I need to get the extension on my skyscrapers. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what? Yeah, yeah, the presidential <laughs> towers. Yeah, yeah. They uh-huh. make this shit like Thursday, man. <laughs> man, what you do with the money to the towers, man? I bought another. I bought another towel. Man, okay, <laughs> another towel. I'm finna flip this money. No towels, yeah, goddamn. Got to yeah. flip this money. She got to get it while good. We are gonna mm. get it back in here. Hey, the money. It's just a quick jug. Ooh. Nigga still making jug on every level. <laughs> what you got for him, Mike? Uh, can you can you introduce yourself to the people a little more intimately? Maybe tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from. Yeah, I'm right here. Huntsville, Alabama, baby. Born Huntsville, and two, five, right six. Seven is baby. Right okay, the then. Yeah, yeah, 4700. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to give the address, but you got damn it, it's off Maston Lake. Okay, yeah. then. Stone yeah, no, Field. That's my yeah, park yeah. I grew up in. I grew up okay, around then. a lot of a lot of talented, smart, ball playing, fucking hair cutting, shoot. Dick booty ass. Okay, then. Yeah, yeah. Young gals in the neighborhood. That girl from around the way. Yeah. Man, okay. She was around my neighborhood. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, man. I know her daughter, guy. Yeah, yeah, we played baseball, man. We played football, nigga. We climbed trees. We yeah. had activity. We rode man, okay. bikes. You had siblings? Two brothers and two sisters. Well, my I had an older sister. She passed. Bless her heart. She passed R.I.P. a few years ago. But nonetheless, man, she left behind some beautiful children. Yeah. Yeah, she left around, you know, uh, uh, her identity. Yeah, I all over her babies, grandbabies too. That's what's up. Yeah, but uh, I've been barbering for hunt in Huntsville for thirty four years. No man, yeah, yeah. thirty four years. Man, I hate. I started cutting hair when I was sixteen years old. I hate it. Yeah, in a barber shop. So what? How you? What you? It's just a barber shop you was going to, and one day you was like, "Yeah, I might do that shit myself." No nah, man, actually, I was in I was in school, man, and I ran around around the corner from where I live. We had a barber in the neighborhood, mm-hmm. garage barber. He went to high school with me. Well, actually, he was in high school and I was in middle school. So when I got to high school, I started being more aware and conscious of my haircuts, right? Of my hair. So I knew he was cutting hair around the street. Now, he's, that was my homeboy. So I'd jog over to his house. You know, we cut grass together and shit. We do little jugs together with, you know, hustling in the neighborhood. Yeah. So he started cutting my hair. And then eventually, you know, he's getting ready to graduate from high school and he went to the Air Force. So he said, bro, I'm getting ready to leave, man. Uh, this is my last week cutting hair. Man. So, man, all right. That last week, right, I, somebody gotta do it. I told my mom, I said, Mom, can you buy me some clippers? I said, my barber gone. T my barber. I know you ain't taking me to the barber shop. Man, all right. Y'all been playing me on these haircuts. I got to do them. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom was good, yeah. No, nah, anyway. I ain't been, I, they, get, they get my haircuts, but they... They stop for a little while. Yeah, you know how it is. You no know, yeah. little pause. Ain't, when you when you can't get one, you will get one. Yeah, God, right. Damn. So I want to be more careful. I want to be more, you know, on top of my game. With my hair. So she I bought me some it. clippers. I started fading the shit out of my head, man. Kid and play. Nah, man. Yeah. I was like, you started tight, like yourself. Yeah, tight man, fade. Right. As I went outside, you know, doing my thing, everybody like, man, who cutting your hair, bro? No. I said, shit, me. They ain't believe, man. He, nah, you ain't cutting your hair. Man, okay. Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm still doing my thing. Then I'm cutting my brother's hair, but I'm fucking them up. <laughs> no. No. Nah, yeah, it sounds yeah. like a person. So it's different Wait, so for me about to my say, own. How, what, how does that happen? It seems like it'd be man, more difficult to do your you own than someone else's. Yeah, that's man, fucked you up. Go, <laughs> Nick, you got to go through a transition. <laughs> I was cutting my hair. You remember that, right? So okay. cutting their hair different. So in my mind, I'm focused, I'm trying to do what they had. As I did to mine, this shit ain't yeah. working. Shit don't work. Like I'm taking that, the okay. edge back on one side. No, but fuck, we're still fading the shit out of them. Man, oh. okay, the fade yeah, fire, yeah. Yeah. right? But the fade. The look at that taper fire. though. Look at that taper. Okay. But the edge fire too is just a little crooked. Okay. Yeah, it just ain't. It just ain't where it's supposed to be. Now I ain't gonna say crooked. It was far back. No, <laughs> yeah, it just ain't up there where it's supposed to be. You ain't get to the front yet. They went too way back. They were. How they? How would they react? They were kids. They ain't give a damn. They running up the street. Okay, they was younger then. Playing. With they friends and shit, fighting, playing, doing shit. Yeah, I fucked my little brother here one time. So like, yeah, I know how to do it. Man, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> but all good at it. I realized I ain't know how to do it. Yeah, but mm. I, how I got my stripes though, my cousin, we was going to go to the NWA concert, and he needed a cut. He missed the barbershop. It's Friday. I'm fresh as hell. Man, okay. Because I done cut my head. Man, we in ninth grade. 
I'm 16. I got a, you know what I'm saying, ticket to Birmingham, NWA. So me, my cousin, three of my homeboys, I had a blazer too. So I had man, a, okay. nigga, I had a full, you know what I'm saying, full load. We, right. We, he came to the house, bro, he cut me up, man. Don't fuck me up, man. <laughs> I said, man, I'm glad you asked me to cut no, your hair. I've been waiting to cut them goddamn waves anyway. Got something to prove, Nigga goddamn. had that little Farrakhan fade too. I faded him up, man. Put that part in him, edged him up. He looked in the mirror. He said, damn, you better, you good as my barber. No, Dad. Yeah, it, it, and his barber working in the barber shop. Man, okay. Right. Yeah, so from there, man, I took off. You was like that. That's when you was like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm going to do, do this shit. shit. Yeah, I took off, man. That's what's up, man. I knew That's I could do when I cut my head. Yeah. Man, okay. Man, I was fading hell. See, I don't, because I, I had, there's been a time or two where I cut my hair, did a great job. And then there's been a bunch of other ones where I didn't. So I don't, I don't have that. Yeah, I did. I've cut other people's hair before. What you cut the ends of your drip locks or something? No, I'm talking about when I had like short hair. Yeah. I'm talking about like long. Now I ain't, I ain't fucking with this. Yeah, this time it's a few. I've done this a few times. Locks. Yeah. You got some old locks. Mm. You throw no. them away. Yeah. Well, how much these going for? See, I keep. I'm gonna put them on the head. I put them over on somebody here, clean them up. No, no. Wash nice. them up. Say how yeah, much they going for? Here. I know Jacquees only they got different prices, man. You know, lots of love, goddamn. Yeah, yeah, different right. prices. See the game I just put on these niggas right here. They, <laughs> he changed the whole mindset. Like, gonna grow my hair. Out, hey, goddamn. but it's your hair. Yeah, no, nah, it's my hair. Sell I'm not like bricks. It. Shit, I'm motherfuckers in New Orleans. I like, hear yeah, none of that shit. I've been to barbershop. Motherfuckers sweep up all they hair. I got damn. Yeah. Nigga, fuck around, I, get I, your I hair, take this put on me. somebody's head. They go rob a bank. Right, right. So this shit, it was here. Is that mine? It was here. Yeah, yeah. I can tell by the hair. That's Bob. Yeah, that's, that's Bob. You got to let the nigga get the hair. I don't even got the hair. Okay, Bob. Okay, Bob. Likely story. Okay. Makes a lot of yeah, sense. I, I, I got the receipt for it. They got some. Niggas hey. can criminally catfish. Man. Okay. Man. <laughs> That'll be fucked up. Nigga at home see yourself wanted. He don't know what the fuck What was. the fuck happened? Man, got a fresh what? ass cut, too. Just yeah, ain't right. home feeling good. Like, oh. Wanted. What? Bank then it show a picture of where you're like, yeah, damn, I've been right. right here the whole time. Nigga robbed me. What? Did oh, you? oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd be so mad. Yeah, damn. Wells Fargo. Yeah. Kato, where you want to keep your hat on? Nigga, stay robbing the Wells Fargo. Oh, yeah, right. I'm keeping my well, for a while at least. Yeah. Check this out. Ooh. Nigga, break your house and steal your hair. Oh. That'd be fucked up. <laughs> oh. I ain't steal shit else. No, nah, nigga, break your hair and cut your hair off your head. No. <laughs> One fucking wake up bald head. Head cold as hell. Yeah, then you find out locks. Somebody got locks. Your locks. On their head. Yeah, I don't know. What, on I, don't, Instagram. I don't know what I would do if I woke up and somebody had cut all my locks in my sleep. Mother That's some Samson Goliath Lift, shit, ain't it? You too right. Old. A babe had to do that. You had to go with a babe to do hair. That's fucked up. God damn, damn I tranquilized. Can't dude. sleep with she no bitches. Like sleep, she looking at you like, God damn, I need that hair. No. no. I need it right now. Dang, my bitch bald. Been waiting on the come. Nah, she's going to put it on somebody's <laughs> yeah, head. she finna sell it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That shit for sale. God damn, that nigga got five. She looking at your head like a lick, god damn it. That nigga already owed me $1,200. That Somebody texting her, talking about, is he sleep yet? <laughs> what? That's why she met you in the club. They was in the club looking for niggas with good hair. He sleep yet? Hurry up and do it, girl. Cut that shit off and get out of there. Man, nigga, wake up, nigga wake up with dirty plaits in his head. Man. From them dreads. Yeah, I just That'd seen be some that. bullshit. No. Oh. Yeah, yeah, this shit happened in real life. Samson Delilah, that mother cut his hair off and sold it to them Chinese. <laughs> Not wait, wait a minute. That wasn't did there. Wait, I read some of this shit. I don't know no Chinese people. Now that you mentioned, you know, know what I mean? Right. 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 It make them strong. You get it. You bring it to strong me. like <laughs> box. They got this shit in some soup right now. Got this. No, this is a life of hell soup. Uh, yes. Fucking Delilah dumpling. Strong. strong like boy. <laughs> hell no. Real shit that she could have. We don't know. You're right. We don't know. Oh, we don't shit. know. Gave her a bag for it, too. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, it's these Chinese <laughs> niggas. They said they go out there running their shit. I gotta do it. It's like yeah, 12 yeah. oxen, goddamn. Shit. I gotta do it. Shit, they just ain't cut it half and keep it. They put this shit on the market. <laughs> okay. <Man. laughs> it's more of this You're shit. You're live here. <laughs> <laughs> so check this out. You get three dinner guests. Mm -hmm. It's a special <laughs> dinner. Anybody can come to this dinner. They could be an imaginary character. It could be somebody made up, somebody real. It could be motherfucking died, historical figures, whoever you could imagine coming to this dinner. It's three people. 
Who coming to this dinner? Three people. I want a cartoon bitch. Okay, then. What's right. one? Jessica Rabbit. No, nah, I like nah. uh, Jessica Rabbit. Yeah. Man, the fuck you talking about? You ever picked her? No, nah, I wouldn't. I don't. I just the first cartoon bitch <laughs> popped yeah, in my was, head. She be, no, she be one of them, but I got to go fast. Huh? I think, uh, what is the guy? Uh, <coughs> what's the guy that cartoon that come on wins? Is a home home guy or? Family, family guy. guy. Family guy, his wife. Oh, Lois, Lois. Griffin. Yeah, I okay, then. Her, her, her. All right. All right. Hell yeah, yeah. Oh, Griffin the dinner guy some freak, On some freaked out blunt smoking type shit. Okay, then. All right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Lois made it. Who we haven't done that? Yeah, we're going to have No, nah, we got to get the guests first. We got to oh, get all right, the guests. But I ain't know it was blunt smoking the shit going we gonna on. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. <laughs> Fuck your mind. Who did it? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why you assume it wouldn't be. Who, who, else, who else coming? Who coming? Shit, the next person coming would be Florida Evans. Okay, then. No. Florida? I, yeah, yeah. I'm fucking some good. I'm fucking some good. I thought they said she was the bad guy. Yeah, I never watched that show. No, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna fuck with I'm, I'm gonna have sex with her mentally and socially talk to her. I'm gonna learn her mind. Okay, then. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm gonna get game from her because I'm gonna learn from her. Okay. All yeah. Right. She was a real special. Lois, lady. Florida. Who's three? The third one would be just a real down to earth person who I just wanna be on vacation with all the time. It would be. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, then. That's the Netflix sound. No. I'm still here. It would be, <laughs> I would say it's unspoken. Because she be the chick don't want nobody. Who was it? Know her. Unspoken? Yeah, she don't want nobody to know who she is. Oh, I don't know who I she is. I call her Sexy Red. Okay, Sexy Red? Yeah. Okay. Okay, then. Is she still pregnant right that's now? A, that's another doggone, uh, is she pregnant? Is Sexy Red too old? Anybody named Sexy Red too old to get pregnant? She is Sexy Red? Wasn't Sexy Red just pregnant? Yeah, she had the baby. Oh, she had the baby. Okay. Oh, is it Sexy Red for real? Yeah, it's a rapper yeah. named Sexy Red. I sure is. That's a, <coughs> is that the motherfucker that put blue face on her face? <laughs> nah, no, that's I'm somebody else. Sexy yeah, Red. Uh, that's Sexy rapper. Red out of New York. Sexy Red, the booty hole brown Yeah, chick. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I guess it'll be her then. All right, <laughs> Fuck it. you got a freaky ass dinner going on, goddamn. That's a yeah, little yeah. sex party. Yeah, okay, yeah. Lois Lane, not Sexy Lois Reed. Lane. Lois Lane, that's a Superman Lois. bitch. Yeah, ain't? that's a different Lois. Lois Griffin. Keep trying to get him some other Sexy white Reed bitch. And goddamn Florida Evans. Yeah, gang. It's a it's gang, unorthodox. Gang. Okay, eat. where we at? Where the dinner at? Where everybody eating at? We're gonna eat at uh. We're gonna eat. We're gonna go urban. We're gonna eat at um. Roscoe's chicken and waffles. Roscoe's okay. chicken and waffles. Yeah. This was had. Watch out, bitch. Florida gonna love that. Yeah, she is. Yeah, yeah, I, I think Lois yeah. might lo you think love so? it too. Yeah, I think Lois will fuck up some waffles and chicken. Maybe chicken. so. Yeah, I think Maybe she so. Would. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. so. I think it'd be tight. Yeah, especially. Glad you know, sexy stuff. red would. Oh yeah, nah, so. it's, yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, they, they, they gonna ask her if she want her regular when she get there. Yeah. Especially yeah. Gladys Knight fall up in there and teach all of them something. Okay, yeah. See her and Flo know each other. Flo, they know each other. They know each other. Okay, then I ain't know that. I ain't know that. They from the they from the seventies era. Okay, then. They probably do know each yeah. other. Midnight That's quite train a in Georgia. Maybe. In good times. Florida was on the train, wasn't it? Good. Yeah, Jane got the train. That, when Jane? she left James to go be with the other nigga. No, nigga. Jane was on the train yeah. to go to Georgia. Yeah. No, you know, Jane <laughs> left went to Alaska, work on the pipeline. Yeah. But Florida left that to sound go like be a with death another sentence. nigga, goddamn. Oh yeah, James gonna go get the money for the family. Man, Florida ain't one nowhere. She stayed in the project. Nah, the nah, Florida left though, guy, did she? No, nah, she stayed in the project the whole time. With another nigga though. No, she left. She stayed with a kid. Florida, no, Florida, Florida, left, Florida left and went no, with another nigga. No, Florida passed. Florida passed in the movie, and Valona took over the kids. But before that, Florida left for like for a little while to be with another. I mean, we gotta nigga. verify that. Yeah, now nah, it happened. She left for a little. Hey, y'all leave some comments and let us know what happened. I, I never saw know. that show. Hey, Please tell, I'm tell, tell me. I don't tell me what happened. What happened. happened. She left for a little Who, while. Who's right? She the barber or the back, reverend? But she was gone. I'm she just gone. saying. She came back, but she was out of there for a little minute. It was just James in there. And JJ was on I never reserve. seen Florida leave till uh, Bologna came. Yeah, I nice. think she died. She, she might have died. No, nah, it's probably when she left. It's probably when she was fucking with that other nigga. Guy there. I <laughs> ain't never seen him for He bad like, about this other nigga. I think I'm he, just Google he, that shit. I'm she saying. stayed loyal to that nigga, Flo I think. Shit, Florida got up out of there for a minute. Man. This nigga always at work. <laughs> no. <laughs> All these kids bad as hell. He gonna die in the last for working Jason on a pipeline. No, James did. What happened to Florida? She was what I'm telling you. I don't know what I don't happened know, after man. that. I can't, I can't see that. She ran around there with another nigga, goddamn. Damn, Florida with the Afro? 
Fuck Florida, yeah. I got to talk to her about it when we had a dinner. Yeah, yeah. to ask her yeah, about yeah. this shit. Ask her about yeah, this yeah. shit. Ask her what happened. But James was out here working hard for them kids, God damn it. James shit went to Alaska and died. No. <laughs> she is for real. That's what I do. That's what I keep saying. That's a death sentence to go to Alaska and work yeah. on a pipeline. You crazy as hell. All right. Yeah, this is his last job, is what it is. Up. And then he went to, uh, what is it? What Eddie Murphy played in? Coming to America. Mm-hmm. That's when Jane came back. He appeared back on right. the middle. Okay. There you go. <laughs> That's what I know him from. He come back to me. <laughs> He's got his own money. <laughs> Motherfucker, knock it off McDonald's, goddamn it. Time traveling is busy. He went away. He says, I got to get out of Florida. Now. Florida trip, I'm going to go to Alaska with his doggone portal. They do be saying his portals up there yeah, and shit, goddamn it. For real, I'm going to jump in the portal. <laughs> nigga went to Alaska and came back to New York. Nah, nigga, I own this motherfucking yeah. McDonald's shit yeah, now. Yeah, McDowell. I don't know about the McDowell. kids. Who the yeah, fuck yeah, is yeah, Florida, yeah, goddamn yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you see my kids? She been pretty kids. They got good looking what kids. What the fuck is that? Now, all, the, all the kids old as hell now. Man, okay. Hey, man. So speaking of time travel, we got a time machine. You can take two people with you. We're going to let you use the time machine. You can go forward. You can go backwards. Go wherever you want to go. You take whoever you want to take with two you. Two people. Yeah. You ain't mm. got to take nobody. If you, you want to go by yourself. He nice. I wouldn't let you take nobody. Back of a dinosaur like Fred Fristone when he got off work, you can do that shit if you want to. (laughs) Whatever you want to do. You want to go to the future and and visit a a space station, God damn it. Whatever you try to do. I'll take my oldest son. Okay, then. And uh, taking my youngest son. Okay, then. I'll take them too. Where we going? We're going back when I first started barbering. Okay, then. Mm. 34 years ago. Back in yeah. the day okay, when then. I was young. I'm taking back when they anymore. seen, you know, my homeboys who they know now seen when they were young because we all. Oh, that would be wild as hell. Yeah. Okay, yeah. then. Yeah, that would be fine. So they, they can gonna come see, back and be like, nigga, I but, remember you. You were just a little bit ago. But check it out. It's a second generation because both my boys could have too. Okay, right then. Right now. Yeah. Currently. I hate it. Yeah. Hell yeah. I want them I to see where it started. Because I want them to meet the guy who I learned my trade from. I hate it. Yeah. Hey, yeah, um, I saw I saw that post you made. R.I.P. to him. You want to shout him out? Yeah, man. R.I.P. Two gentlemen, Anderson Carroll, which was my mentor, and Tim Butler, which was my homeboy. Both of them guys, they were great barbers. And the, and the good thing about those guys, they were great people. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has their own cross they had to bear when they lived this life. You feel me? And they did that. And they died bearing their cross. You know what I'm saying? Bearing their truth. However it may be, you know, some people, man, you don't know the road that they have to travel. But you see right. that fruit. You know, yeah. they, you don't when he, know your own path. When he passed away, he had a property. Yeah. He had property. You know, he left it to his his you know, people, and they, and they doing right by it. That's what's so up. So I just said that to say, Does he, he lived a good life. He did that. I ain't That's right. what's up. That's, That's inheritance. Up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, ain't nothing like leaving something to somebody where you go. So you almost almost kind of got to do the time travel, getting to take them to see, getting to show them yeah, where it started that. at for you and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I did time travel. Yeah, yeah that's right. why. Facts. That's why. Yeah, he got yeah, a chance to see minute. it. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Um, I I gotta know how you learn to install. Wait, yeah, nah, I, that's not what he said. Oh, hold on, one second. <laughs> what did he say? What, what did he say? What did you say? <laughs> what, what you, you was doing in Jackson? <laughs> Installing the man we. No, no, no I got a unit. No, I slap a unit. Slap a slap a nigga. Eh? Slap <laughs> a unit on the nigga. That what he said. <laughs> slap a unit. I said on I went nigga. down. And I, I, I put a unit put on somebody here. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I put, I put a, a unit on, on somebody here. Like hey, okay, we just still trying to make it definite. <laughs> they tried, yeah, that was, that was right. I put a nigga a rule, uh, and it was a rapper. <laughs> nah, it was a rapper. Yeah, he can flow like a motherfucker. So too. around Jackson, Mississippi, right now, one of y'all favorite rappers. Right there. Running around that yeah. bitch with a unit on. Right yeah. Here. Nah, I ain't gonna even put them out there like that. Oh, yeah. It's too late. He out there. He's out there. Yeah, nah. It's too yeah, late. Nah. We ain't gonna say yeah. his name, though. Nah. We ain't gonna say his nah, name. Nah, but his head look real good. <laughs> real recently. I'm the only barber that you gonna see this like bald head. Man, okay. Yeah. Man, wait. I don't know. Only, I, I wear units sometimes. Shit. I wanna feel like. For real? I wanna feel my 80 self, man. This damn time, you can do the fuck. You, you can do what do. you wanna do, though. Cat Williams said it. 
the, the glue don't be like ripping people's scalp off and shit. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. How no. how secure is the unit? Like, what kind of winds can it hold up against? Man, okay. You got you got to understand. See, I got a lot tight system. You know what I'm saying? It's kind yeah. of a Mike Sales hair system. It consists of a variety of tips and techniques that I learned throughout my years of barbering. So, with that being said, if I tell you, I, I charge you a little bit. Man, okay. It costs money to can find you, out. Can you say, like, can it, it could withstand, like, 15-mile-an-hour oh, yeah. winds? Or like, now, I'm going to tell you, it, I'm, I'm going to give you my illustration of what it can. You can swim in it. Okay. I okay, was going to be my certain next question. One of, certain ones you can't swim in. Are <laughs> oh, you in the game if you can swim? Yeah, please. if you can swim, man. Well, wait, Cap. Right, okay. You got to add something on that motherfucker. Like a tight. I'll hold it down. Hold it man, down. Okay. That motherfucker slide. Man, okay. So all these slide niggas with the, uh, with the beards can't get their face wet. Nigga, they don't need to talk too much. Yeah, I don't know. One time my boy would put the little, the air, they Five sprayed million. a little bit on me. The white stuff? No, nah, it wasn't the white shit. The black shit. They're like, Half fire. Now your shit half fire. It was like a little spray that I did. Half spray. I'm going to spray this on your ears and now this, it's just like a black paint for real. It's like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I got the sweat. These the niggas is talking. <laughs> these niggas is saying what it is and I'm the barber. Man, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you right. What the fuck is it? Hey, yeah. I'm trying to tell them, these niggas they put spray paint it on there. It was some head. spray paint on there. What is it? He blocked them off like masking tape. No, nah, it's called half fiber. You got yeah, half fiber. Half fibers. Fibers. Okay. Or you got what they call tentation. Tent, okay. Tentation. Okay, then. Temptation. You got tinted up. I don't know which one <laughs> yeah, yeah. it was. Or you got high beams. High beams. No, yeah, no. you got black eyes. Okay, then. Yeah, yeah. These were, these right here would save many black women from no, losing that. their men. Because men, no, I'm going to tell you something. What women got to be careful of, bro, is when they boys and their husbands go to bed on them white sheets. No. Man. They just putting Beijing on kids now. No. no. Yeah, your kids is getting the fibers, getting the... White chalk line. Kid hit that bath water good. He gonna come out a whole nother child. Really? Okay. Damn. What's what's with the white chalk line? Yeah, what white is chalk that? line really is two two things for the chalk line. You got definition and you got a guideline. You can see your age. Yeah, but I'm saying I feel like you could use it as a guideline, but shouldn't you wipe it out before they leave? No, hear me out. If if it's, it's some some barbers leaving on them. Some, yeah. some barbers heavy handed. And some some clients like this shit. Man. Yeah, the motherfucker be walking around. Yeah, yeah no, nah, people yeah, like it. Head, you, nah, you right. People like it. It's just I don't I don't understand like it. it for real. Shit, man, chalk me out, man. Okay, that was, <laughs> chalk on. That was, okay, if I need uh, to ask for it, that's what I need. Man, to, don't get that pencil. Chalk me out, man. Man, okay. Shit. Well, yeah, that motherfucker spraying this shit. I got the sweat. And this shit got the running down my forehead. Like, that nigga didn't seal it in. Yeah, what, it he ain't put the clip coat on. But it was right at the, I, <laughs> I got the sweatsuits I left. No, I, I don't know if I wanted a clip coat. Shit. <laughs> man, all right. Oh, uh, man. Hey. Yeah, that's why I ain't, I ain't been to a barbershop in so long. Like, not for an edge up or none of no nothing. Yeah, so I didn't know how much be happening, man. That's, it really, really a right. barbershop, man. Man, all right. Wait, so do you do the. um? What do you call them? Installments? I do man weaves, hair partials, beards, anything dealing with non-surgical hair replacement. Every, but you do it all oh, in the shop. Shit, I'm I'm on. I can come get, I've been trying yeah. to grow my beard out right now. You back. can get all summer, you can get whatever you want. Working, I got beard products too. I could go get like, I would just want a beard though. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I got to cut this one off and put it on there. Nah, I can just put it like, I, like nah, a, I I do like to do the cars, tape it up. <laughs> okay. And put, how long it like takes? How long it takes? I keep your edges, but I like how the inside protects. Okay. The edges, you know what I'm saying? You got to let your beard grow out a little further. You got to get beard wrap. You got to let it go out a little further. Oh, yeah. That'll make the beard look full. People think up here make it look full, but before you let it grow out down here, it'll make your beard look oh, full. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. then. How, how long does it take to install a beard on a gentleman like our model right. right here. Some guys real talk. I ain't gonna lie. Some dudes get their hair unit, all their beards, and they be talking and moving. Uh, yeah. So that factor mm. in too. Then nah, I'll be still. Yeah. Like that. I, you know, I would say about an hour and a half for the beard. Shit. Two shit. hours for you. Okay. But you gonna be like Rick Ross, Man, okay. Ed, and, that, and that like, lasts for how long? Like a month? It la- no, it lasts about a beard. Lasts about three days. Three and oh, <laughs> oh my god! So you got to do this for a special uh-huh. event. Yeah. If you got something to happen, you, yeah. you wanna yeah. Yeah, we're gonna microwave you. Okay. Yeah, dang, okay. Get you a little makeover real quick. Little and you do all this in the in the same chair that you spin around and yeah. z- 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 instead you yeah, spin yeah. around and 
Same look, look, I'm gonna come give me a beard. I need like a kid. <coughs> so it be a, it top. could be a nigga across from Kato getting a, a fade while he getting a beard. Yeah, it could be. Could possibly be a whole shop full of bald head niggas leaving out with the freshest cuts in the city. Man, okay. Or come give me a kid and play fade. A unit. That's I tell what everybody if they want to get one, get it doing Halloween. I'm gonna give me a guy get away with beard. It. Word. Then you get to at least like test drive. Oh, I'm finna start a new job. I'm just gonna pop up at the job. <laughs> nigga, I had niggas. <laughs> I had, me. <laughs> nigga, I didn't hear niggas come get hair units and the police was looking for them. No, yeah. shit. Yeah. Hey, hey, that's hey. They changed that whole idea. Hey, yeah, yeah. That'll work. Look, shit. if you or your cousin want your hair unit and the police is looking for you, come man, to me. Man, okay. <laughs> I am on the south side. Hey, all of you need get Mike get Mike about two, three hours to pull up on him, yeah, man. Oh, another they don't know who you is. Bro. But what you cannot do is tell me who you are. I do not want to know. Don't even matter. Oh, just bring the money. But it ain't the money. money. No, wait, wait. no cash app. No, no. No, cash. no, just, no digital money. Wait, okay. Straight cash. Bring the yes, cash. Yes. And you must be bald at the top. Come out a new person. Yes. This See, is all right. This See. is true. If I ever, hey, if they ever looking for me, I know where to call. Me. I know I know somebody be looking for me. I get this phone call one day. Mr. Sales, this is Judge Joe Brown. No, hey. not Joe Brown. I'm calling you because you contempt the court. You did a guy's hair unit. You didn't mess it up, but you did something that I didn't like. The police was looking for him. You hit him up in the shop and you hit him. Man, all right. Nah. He came out of new motherfucker while right past We're going to have to come get you, call your contempt the court, call your mom, your daddy. I know your daddy don't like you. No. I, so proud I just me. had your sister up here and she's a, a dyke. No, damn, so proud. Now you bring your punk tail on up here in this courtroom, Man, okay. slipping if you want to. I ain't going. You're probably a crackhead. Plus, I want to come get one of those units. No, man, all right. With, with Judge Joe Mathis. Steve Harvey <laughs> need to come get one too, goddamn. They said he had one the whole time. You yeah. can tell us what you think. You just no, I know he had one. Yeah, that was, was, that was, was fake. Okay, no thing. Yeah, right. I, heard that, I heard it years ago. Man, yeah. okay, all right. When he first came out with it, but it's so fresh. Everybody can't, you can't hate on Steve. No, all you can't. Those people, you can't. All you those people the fuck out me. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all something. <laughs> Women hadn't won the first ones doing it, nigga. Nah, me and did it first. The first one, look on your dollar bill. Man, mm -hmm. Nah, they did. Look on your twenty dollar bill. Go. Look on your ten dollar. All them niggas had hair units. A, a white wig did me had the money. See, I time travel. I was the nigga that did the hair. Oh, okay, no. did. All Put right. the curls in. It. Yeah, Dred Scott. I was Dred Scott. Okay, okay then. Okay, okay then. I was a All right. I made hair here. units back then. Shout out to my. This was yeah. heavy. Shit, yeah. I got all kind of land <laughs> for doing hair units. Man, all right. <laughs> this was heavy. Fifty acres in a mule. I got that. So how you go from comedy, I mean from fucking, I'm tripping, from, from barbering to comedy? Because it's all the same feel. It's the same thing. Man, it's the same communication, man. man and okay. Get, and sh get, I'm going to tell you something that really, what I really can say would give me the mind to love comedy and barbering. The reason why, man, when you're going through problems in life, you're going to either, me, I'm hot or cold. I ain't never in the middle. Okay, then. Yeah. I'm hot on this end. I'm hot, man. So I'm hot meaning them. I run a, a, a life full of action, full of motion, and motion brings stress and, and all type of different other things, you know what I'm saying? So you got to, I got to be balanced on, on this side. So to balance this side, I got the comedy over here. Okay, the comedy yeah. is what keep me laughing, keep me happy, keep me re remembering to never forget laughing in the middle is the creator, God, right here. Okay. Because yeah. I know I got to stay centered and focused by being, you know, financially, you know, conscious of my, my money. You know, conscious of my family, conscious of my business, and yet I'm still making mistakes, trying to feel my way through. So comedy and, and this side help me balance everything with with the creator in the middle, bro. That's how I look at it. I gotta that gives me balance. That's okay, then. All right, help me balance out. Yeah, your comedy life. help yeah. me balance, man. And, yeah, and I think every man should, you know, get into comedy to some degree. That makes sense. I, I think I might go do it. Yeah, you, we got open mics every night in the city. Come on, I'll write you out. Yeah, I ain't got no job now too. I ain't got no skills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have like jam sessions in my barbershop with comedy. I ain't in my hand. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that what... made sense. That makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. it made sense to me. Help you yeah. balance it, balance your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all read books? Sometimes, mm -hmm. not not as often as I used to. <laughs> nope, sure don't. <laughs> I look at what. So, nigga, if it was a Bible on this, I ain't gonna say Bible. 
if it was a book on this table, say for instance, a uh, encyclopedia, and motherfucker, would you would y'all if it had a hundred dollar bill in it, would y'all know it was enough? Um, if it, if I'm sitting here and I ain't doing shit, I yeah, might I'll look, flip through yeah, the book. Look through the encyclopedia. I don't like actively yeah, go I'm get not books just to be read. Like, oh, encyclopedia. Let me read this motherfucker first. Hell, I had to use that bitch for homework growing <laughs> up. Anyway, you know what I'm I've seen it now. But yeah, if See, I'm, I'm sitting there, I did it at the barbershop before, and I had to tell somebody. It went on so long. I went on and told him. No, yeah. it stayed there so long. Some no, I didn't tell nobody. Look, kid, pick it up. Man, all right. But kid yeah, if it's up. just sitting there and I ain't doing shit, I might. Oh, let's see, goddamn, what this e word be, goddamn, or yeah. some shit. Yeah, but no, nah, I ain't just gonna be like. I read. Bottle? I read the boxes on new bottles of alcohol Cato brings okay, from then, different he states. Do, right. He do do that. He be the only nigga do that. What about uh, audio books? Like, let me see it, nigga. Now I got to right, read it. it. Now I don't listen to audio books. I did for a little bit a while back, but I haven't. Man, this should be dope as hell because. YouTube got a lot of audio books too, so if you want to listen to some good books, yeah. just go to YouTube. I listened to a few on when I was driving and shit in the car by myself. I'm gonna tell y'all now. Book, I don't. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you a book y'all need to get: the art of not giving a fuck. Okay, then the you, subtle art of not giving a I fuck. I feel like I mastered it. That's a good ass book, bro. It talk about this man. He had a gambling habit. He was an alcoholic. People that hated him. He was a terrible friend. He He's fucked up. But the one thing that he had, he was a writer. Okay. Then. And he wrote his writing brought him, you know, millions in, in fame. But he didn't give a fuck. He was still him. I ain't a man. He just so happened somebody seen him, seen some of some he had wrote, because he was writing like journaling and and he was writing in his journal. This guy told dude told me he need to get involved in writing books. So he said fuck. He did it, and it fucked around. Turned out to be one of the biggest things that he ever did in his life, and it changed his life. Financially, but he still was the gambler. Over, I ain't it. He still didn't give a fuck. He still got on people's nerves. I ain't a man. But he was rich because of his gift. He, and the power of him not giving a fuck took him far. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? He didn't give a fuck if he had you. I lost you. What you said? The subtle power of not giving a fuck? Yeah, the subtle part. The subtle art of not giving art, a fuck. The subtle art of not giving a fuck. That's what's up, man. Right. That's on the Smoking For Me, the podcast reading list. Y'all go check this shit out. You're here, man. Smoking For Me, the podcast book club. We just started today, guys. <laughs> Small move. <laughs> Check this out. It's a box. We got a box. Uh-oh. Everything you ever lost. <laughs> Everything. What's What's the first thing you looking for in this box? Everything I ever lost. Everything you ever lost. First thing I'm looking for in that box. It has to be some physical, tangible, right? Some, Maybe not. We ain't never said that. No. Huh? Yeah, no. Just something it could that be you feel was a loss for you. I don't, you can't pull like a person out of that box. No, I'm just trying to think. What would I pull out that box? I'd pull out that box. Anything I wanted that I didn't have as well? No, it's something mm-hmm. you lost. It, it was yours at once and now it's gone. Like it could have been your first watch or it could have been a wallet or it could have been a, a car. Yeah, that's or, a great question. It first thing been I lost. First bitch. Yeah. I, 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 I just said we couldn't put a person out there box. I almost went there. Well, if I can go back and get it. No, we ain't no people in. We can't pull no people out the box. Yeah. If I can go back and get some of my loss. No, we got it. We got a box full of this shit. Everything you lost, we it'll got been, a box. It'll been, it'll been a house. I lost a house before. Okay. In my man. mission. It was a house I lost. How you, you just lost it? I was young, home? man. I was young, hustling, man. Just... Man, I had a, like the house that I bought when I was twenty, what a twenty four, twenty five. Yeah, yeah, I had a nice house. Man, I right. but I lost it because I wasn't knowledgeable. On, man, bro, I was, it, it was, it's like this. It's like I was grew. I grew up around a lot of hustles, and I grew up everybody's moving fast. Yeah, well, nobody focused for real. You got the money, you know but saying? don't really know how to spend the money. Yeah, I, I had the money. I, they, they taught me to make it, but they ain't teaching me how to keep what it. What to do with yeah. it? Yeah, but you know the the the, the hunger and the thirst for money kind of if if you let it, it can overtake your 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 patience and overtake your discipline. You understand what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, yeah. And you, I didn't have you that. You become addicted to the money just like you become addicted to some drugs. Yeah, real. but you can also have no discipline or no. No planning, no yeah, direction. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you just out here at the money that's, no matter that, what. That was yeah. me, man. That was me. Hmm. I did this shit. I was I was a young man. I paid for the mistake. You know what I'm saying? And and those are lessons. So I count those as you know check marks under my my brain, a book of thought, my my mindset of 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 achieving and excelling. 
<coughs> all that right there is just a check mark. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. Remember that. Well, pal, then it's a, it's keys to the house is in the box. <laughs> I ain't a man. You feel me? She got, got that bitch back. Come about it or not, guys. Got that bitch back. Talk about this house. Pack your shit. Yeah. Come on, real talk. And it ain't. And, Come from around here. And bro, I'm I'm gonna tell you, man, when you are on a path of destruction without knowledge or wisdom, truth, and understanding, boy, if you live in it, you got a hell of a story to tell. But it, you could easily die in that in that mindset. Oh yeah. yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So you got to be conscientious of of your present. Man, man. Yeah, yeah, you got to be conscientious yeah. of your present, of the moment, right now. You are absolutely right. This all we can. This all we can grab right now. We can't go grab what's back there. Everything happening, happening. And right on up then. the road, we ain't got there yet. Mm-hmm. But we're right man. here in this present, making it happen right here on a uh, smoking permitted podcast. Oh, yeah, smoking yeah. permitted podcast. That's who we at right now. We in the present right man, now. Man. Yeah, we moving into the future. And y'all right are now. too. Welcome. Hey, y'all here too. Hey. Yeah. Everybody that's here, here. If you wasn't here, goddamn, you missed something. You know what, though, bro? I'm going to tell you something that's right. going to blow your mind. The Earth move at the equator a thousand miles per hour. It moved around the galaxy at 1.2. It, no, it, it, it rose around the Earth, I mean, the sun, at 25,000 25, miles per hour. And the Milky Way galaxy right now is moving at 1.2 million miles per hour through the universe. Everything moving. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah, as we as we as we sit and talking right now, we moving, we time traveling right now, bro. That's true. <laughs> we in the present. We, we traveling. Are time traveling. To, yeah, we traveling. Yeah, that's amazing. Time right? travel is possible. Yeah, we time traveling hey, right breathe, now. Goddamn, let me put them hunting out. I can't breathe. Goddamn. Man, what what would we do with our clocks? Same shit we do with. Them. Man, I right. be late for work. Goddamn. It. Would you still yeah. have a schedule? To some extent, yeah. To some, you know, when the sun come up, right? you have more. Mm-hmm. Everybody got a Sunday alone, goddamn. Yeah, real talk. Yeah, just, no. They you want their money. Was, it's time to get the cow. You they would know what time, time wouldn't exist if it was clocks. Yeah, no, nah, we been, people invented time, but it's still time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. That was so perfect. Hey, I already it could be called something else if there were no clocks. I'm gonna put what this shit on the shirt. Hey, yeah. could it be called? Evolution could it be called, you know what I'm saying, dynasties. Cause it's all of that, live. all those different words they Centuries. use to, to talk about time. That's right. right. You're right. Check this out. We know about the comedy. We know about the barbering. What's the talent that most people don't know you got? Shit, I freestyle like a wolf. Okay, then no. Let us hear something. Shit, Bars. we here. Motherfucker, put you on Man, the spot. Put, we, put ain't some music no, on. we ain't got no beat or none of this mm-hmm. shit. Y'all got, y'all got a Bluetooth speaker? <laughs> shit, not over here. We ain't got shit ready to set up no, no sounds. All right, give me Did a, you go here. Give me a, a subject. Beatbox. Beatbox. I, 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 I look at me I, like I'm a... <laughs> I go out the pillow for a minute. me. I go out the for a minute. See, I don't need no music. Yeah, all right. Unless I let my phone play. It don't matter. Let's put some... Hell yeah, I wish I'd brought my damn Bluetooth speaker with me. Man, all right. We, I yeah, we ain't get set. We could have been set Wait, up for we this. Don't have to. You ain't got to rap for real, for real. Yeah, just, yeah we'll, do, we'll do it next time. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be like, ready hey, next time rap, rap, for some bars. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're going to turn it to me. <laughs> beatbox, bro. <laughs> hey, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> you beatbox, nigga. You ain't made a beat before. If that nigga would have hit a five beat, boy, I would have went with it. I ain't never made no beat before. I don't know how this shit go. Just go to YouTube. Oh, you go to YouTube. Oh, you on yeah, y'all, y'all definitely need that music in here. Yes, okay. All right, then. So check this out. What's your top five cereals? Cereal? You eat cereal? Hell yeah. yeah What's your top five cereal? My top five. My, I, I fluctuate, That's a lot man. of cereal. It fluctuate. Because my real deal cereal I kind of like for real, number one is, what is it, the Pops? The Pops Chicken Sugar Pops? What is it? With the frog on smack them, smack them, smack. There was little, little white, there little white balls, puffs, corn pops. Nah, something like that. The corn cheap. pops, corn puffs, in the yellow box. Yeah, yellow box, the puffs, some puffs. I like them. I know what you're talking about. My Sugar mom puffs used to or get some them shit like. I ain't like them bitches. I like them bitches. That bitch looked like it could have been a little piece of popcorn. Got yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> then I like shit. Y'all, y'all remember what they call waffles? Waffles, waffle cereals. Hell yeah, cereal with a waffle. Them motherfuckers was the best oh, goddamn cereal. 
good? Man, Google it. Waffle O's. Man, okay. Oh, man. Ain't no cereal been better than that. No cereal. I ain't never man, heard of no Waffle O's. You, you can still cereal. get them? Man, what? I you ain't where you get Waffle O's at, man? Man, they stopped selling. That shit was the best damn cereal mm. ever. Man, All right, that's two. What's three? Shit, number three got to be Apple Jacks. Okay. Okay, man. Got all classic so far. Yeah, number four. You want to get down with the get down, eat good cereal, you know, at night, in the morning. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is. You see it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yellow box, ain't it? Is that your cereal in the same? Let me see. <laughs> it's the waffle on. Yeah, them motherfuckers good, man. No. Do they still sell them? Yeah, hey, yeah, you can get the bitch. Yeah, yeah, man. I need to order me a no, box. This, them on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> them on eBay, yeah. Now nah, you can't get them at the store. They got waffle crisp now. Man, them waffle good. Mm. Man. I promise you. My last cereal, uh, just be real. It's a it's it's going between Frosted Flakes right, man. and uh, an off brand Raisin Bran. Right, oh. off brand Raisin Bran. No, off brand. Hell no. Oh, okay. I just brand, off just brand. Oh, because you definitely said yeah, off okay. brand Raisin Bran. Yeah. I was like, okay, <laughs> interesting. You want the great value sure. of Raisin Bran. Tony, Tony Baker was just talking about that bag cereal. Yeah, yo, nah, you don't want that. <laughs> that bag cereal. You get so much cereal too, guy. That nigga, did. you got only one open with that bitch because after that, it ain't no it's good. A, it's over. You she leaking all over the cabinet. Captain O's. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I want this shit, bro. Sound like a drug dealer, pot. Sound like a drug dealer, goddamn uh, smoke man, weed. Okay. Smoke, goddamn weed. That's a tube movie, I'm, Captain O. Nah, hear what I want to say. It sound like a fucking weed product. Yeah. Got the Captain O's. Captain O's. Captain O's. You, seen, you seen how they mad, uh, how Snoop and Master P mad about their cereal? Yeah, I would be too. What the hell they do? They what said happened? Walmart be hiding their cereal. Yeah, put they, it up in the storage room. Yeah, yeah, they won't put it. And then, yeah, and then, then uh, the if you look up the price at Walmart, the, the box of cereal is like $13. $13? <laughs> yeah. Shit. And they say it's out of stock, but then the dude walked into the back of Walmart you know and they was back there. No. You know what had to happen? They had to put the price on their cereal too high. At Walmart. I'm so, talking about some, some so, have. Yeah, they, I, I, I would like, think Master P put his cereal at thirteen dollars. Charged it besides there, and Walmart get by, was like, "Man, fuck this." Shit. I think. <laughs> not, well, that's what they saying is that Walmart overpriced it. Oh, Walmart. Like, oh, yeah, Walmart. yeah, like Walmart oh, put it no. so nobody would buy it, so they could just not put it out. Man, okay. Type shit. Ain't like, no, it's no selling. Well, you know how you beat that. You start your own chain. Need to promote this cereal. Yeah, that's what it is. It's dead. Weed smokers, man, you need to connect with some weed. Smokers. I forget I what the went company to Walmart was. Walmart looking for it one time. Yeah, they, Shit, it was. Like, it's in the back. You gotta go to the back. <laughs> and the caller, nigga, I they, it's, it's still in the brown box. It's the like bed, they even took it up out of those. Four of it. Well, no, what he did, what he need to do right then? He should have had a call out to the black community. Help me move these cereals. Shit, they I mean, are. This all. It was all over yeah, the internet I mean, for a little bit. It wasn't nothing. It wasn't nothing in my local Walmart. Let's go get this. Let's go get this cereal. Okay. I you mean, to tell me, look. you mean to tell me you can get locked up for riding with a box of cereal? No. <laughs> nigga got them bricks nigga, in the this car. is contraband. Where would you get the Snoop Holes from? <laughs> oh. Them niggas on the Rico. <laughs> the man. Man. Hey, the the back up. <laughs> we got a box of Snoop Holes. I'm going to need another car. <laughs> man, it's terrible, man. Transport. Well, what that means is that these rappers, bro, entrepreneurs, let me quit calling them rappers. Those entrepreneurs should purchase grocery stores. Yeah, that's I, yeah. They shouldn't they have to, make, to for real, need, but then no, it, they it's up to you. What's on the shelf? Oh, no, I got why, you know. I'm gonna tell you why because now we got we can control where we buy our food from. Yeah, ain't nothing much new balls in this bitch. Yeah, because now we can <laughs> mess with black farmers. I hate you know, be yeah, a they ain't use no farmers for that series. I said, I said, you some cucumbers and shit, shit. Now, real talk, man. <laughs> that's what we losing that because Bill Gates done bought all farmland. Oh ah, yeah, and they done did all. They done got locked down on the grocery on the seeds. They've been All the way. Everything. So what they saying is they putting shit in our food. Hmm. That's how people always coming up with. Different. They won't let Bill sell his meat in the other places. Man, I think he got banned from two countries. countries. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah. they know what they doing, bro. Yeah, just, nah, just don't eat the shit. They made a a vegetarian nigga, spaghetti here last night. Nigga, they got and I was like, it looked like it got meat in it. It was like, no, nah, it's impossible meat. Like, Have yeah, you ever asked yourself for me to eat that? You ever ask yourself <laughs> why is it meat impossible? Yeah, it's what, impossible what made them impossible? It? Because it's not me. Shit. It's Man, impossible that we eating this shit. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I believe I ain't one of them burgers. But, no, you got the option, though. You, they, I ain't get that vaccine. As long though. as they ain't snuck it on you, goddamn it. Nigga, ain't, nigga had to put a vaccine in a dart and shoot me in the neck. No, nigga. shoot the motherfucker in the neck. Hey, yeah. man. That's the only way they're going to get you me. You have to catch me like you Ricky. Got the vaccine, man. Okay. But you know something, man? 
A lot of people who I know got the vaccine got a cough now. Yeah. I went to go get a flu shot. And I was nervous as hell. Like, what is they trying? Because she was like, you want the vaccine too? Like, bitch, nah. Right. She's sneaking in there anyway. Yeah, she trying to sneak that bitch You never know. Me. You don't know. <laughs> got his ass. That's why I hate hospitals and shit, man. You don't know what they doing. Man, what? You don't know what they doing. That <laughs> man, if he's nervous, like, bitch, you show? That's just going, the flu shot, bitch. That nigga's going to witch doctors. Really? Man. Hey, hey. I don't know what I they know doing either. Lady, but, I'm saying. Is the witch doctors really bad? They just what they told us. I know a voodoo Guess it depends. lady. I don't know. It might not be bad. We might no, think it, all bad. this shit ain't bad. We just don't understand this shit. That's right. And the people they who make... told us about this shit didn't understand this shit, so they told us this shit was bad for real. Yeah, they what they did was put the lock on the game. They gave us what they wanted us to know. Yeah, no, you know it. You know it. Kept the real. Shit. Kept the kept the meat throughout the fat. Right, everybody. Chitlins too. <laughs> Man, yeah. Hey, you got uh, shows coming up? Any? As far as comedy, like uh, you, where you mentioned you mentioned where there's stand up. Um, oh no! Well, and well, I just did a show not too long ago, about yeah. two weeks ago, with a uh, guy out of Atlanta. His name is um, what is his name? Double D. Okay. We got Double D now. Shout out Double D. Another guy named Trey. I forget Trey's last name. But those those guys from Atlanta. Yeah, so that's I, how I came across. That side of fly out for that. Yeah, I opened up for them. He had a good opportunity, man. And um, right now, it's open mics all over the city. So I just go to the open mics, man, and really just trying this comedy thing out to see where it takes me. I yeah. Ain't yeah. That's it's like up, a bicycle growing up, you know. You got the training wheels on. Yeah. I ain't. Yeah. And then you got to eventually come up off of them. That's what I'm pedaling. Hey, man. Where the next open mic at in the city? I'm going to go. When is some of them? It's a Facebook app called, it's a Facebook um, page called Huntsville Comedy. Okay, then. Huntsville Comedy, all the open mics on there, and as well as shows and venues dealing with comedy. Okay, then. That's what's up. Hey, yeah, Huntsville Comedy Facebook. Yeah, they got. They even got <coughs> comedy groups, you know, on uh, Messenger for those that want to get in the comedy, you know, community. So I ain't. Yeah, the com- comedy community in Huntsville is growing, man. It's very, very impactful, man. It's good, man. Loving some great guys. A couple of podcasts... Uh, a couple guys got in the comedy group got podcasts too. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna come see what the comedy talking about. I'm gonna, yeah. Give me a, what they got tight five. God damn. Yeah, tight five. You know what you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Maybe a tight three. Yeah, at least, at least you gotta start out somewhere. <laughs> you could be a comedian, bro. You good? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try one day. I keep saying this shit. I ain't never did this shit. I'm gonna see what they talk yeah, about. Yeah, you think you'll do good, man. I see the personality. Let's see what they got going on up there. Hello, Dallas. Yeah, all that. <laughs> all that. Yeah. Does somebody have a camera on me? <laughs> all right. Okay. As long as it's rolling, this nigga don't. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, this is Memphis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. You know what I meant. <laughs> y'all, hey, y'all. <laughs> yeah, man. Tell them, what, tell them what to find here. Plus One more time before we get up out of here. And all this shit. My name is Mike Sales at 10 Stacks on all social media platforms. 10 zero S T A C K S S. You see, I know me with my hat, man. I should have been branding with important. But I do got this for Smoking Permitted Podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm giving away a free haircut, oh, and I'm going to leave it to him. It's a $50 value. It's a, a $50 value. So. Shit, I yeah. ain't a man. All right, we're going to run across. Watch Matter of fact, we looking for us because we're going to be in the streets. This is it right here. So Okay, then. Let's see what we got going. And, and what I want to do is. Um, okay, then. I want to ask y'all this right here. There's a nigga picture on here. I'm going to ask y'all this. For y'all to win that car right there. Do, do you have a, a, a live streaming crowd right now? Somebody They watching right now? No, no. We, ain't no, we, no we don't go live. Okay, so, so what I'm going to do is if, if anybody... Can call smoking, smoking permitted podcast. I get in touch with them and mention my name. Okay, then my Instagram name to them. They got a free haircut. Tell them my phone number. Bob. Two five six seven eight eight seven three three nine. Call us free haircut. I'm some written no bullshit. Mike sales haircut. Mike yeah. sales fifty dollars. My, 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 my Mike sales cut it. Man, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> you got a drop there. 
<laughs> oh shit! Right, right. Yeah, All right. yeah. We All appreciate right. you coming through, man. Hey, I had a good time. Goddamn, I feel like Kato had a good time. Already. I hope you had a good time. This has been the Smoking Permitted Podcast, y'all. This has been a special sessions. Uh, fuck with us one more time because we'll Ain't be back right. again. Peace. Out. Hey, I appreciate that, man. I know. We appreciate you coming. Was that was was that was that decent, in y'all? Oh yeah, yeah. You were yeah. good. You got on here and talk. Motherfucker get on here and don't say For shit. Real. I this shit. People get like that. Yeah. I know. Motherfucker get in front of the camera if you're nervous, goddamn. My 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 mic sales cut it.